See, I really thoroughly enjoy Grantland Grim Dawn. It's a great casual game. You don't have any stress. You don't have any of the other stuff that the other games such as Diablo does. I don't know. To me, Grim Dawn, it just feels like a great casual game, especially if you're trying to get into like the Diablo world and all of that stuff. To be in this and then having the um, Shaman, I think I have, with the uh, Demolitionist or whatever it is called. So guns and lighting and shit. This works so well. Just cause like boom, 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 boom. Like yes, I'm only level 40. But you know, so when Diablo 4 first released, just to kind of get my point across, it had a matter of just like ice build and that was it. You just had to use ice build and then it was just shit. And it was just like balancing was completely off. With this game, it feels like you have a lot of diversity and a lot of customization, similar to what um, Path of Exiles has, but less of an elaborate of a skill tree. Their skill tree in Path of Exiles is fantastic. It has a lot of customizability. You've got a lot of things. Replay replayability is there, I do believe. And I've got a couple of characters on you know, Path of Exiles, I have Diablo 3 and 4 and all that stuff. But this game just keeps it so easy to play. It doesn't feel like work, which is great. Like you obviously grind up, level up and all that stuff. And yes, I haven't got to the end game in this. But when I was playing Diablo 4 in the first season, and you're just pretty much just trying to grind the levels all the way up to, what was it? I think it was like level, what was the level before you hit um, Paragon? I think it was like level 70. We'll just say level 70 just for argument's sake. But like it just, it didn't feel good. It just felt grindy. It felt like a chore in this game even though you're leveling up the game feels good maybe it's because i haven't played the fuck out of it and like you know you know how when you play a game and you play it over and over and over again you just get bored of it like maybe that's what it is because i haven't finished this game yet but we'll see how we go when i get to the end game stuff oh. i'm not hitting him that's why I'm shooting the fucking tree is he stuck no nah, he's all right i thought he was stuck for a minute and then all right, so basically we're all good, so we just keep going north. I don't know. Realistically, I should just read it. My water bottle needs to be cleaned out properly, I think. I need to get one of those scrub and brush things. Like the bottle brushes to clean it out properly, I think. Well, looky here. What else do we got? They currently equipped it. It was those two and then this one that I'm looking at. Maybe equipping, which I probably won't. Let's be real. Those I like to move here. Because reasons oh, shit i gotta go around can i walk across this knockout ah oh, bullshit should be a long way around isn't it yeah let me get through here and i can't get through here that's gonna kill me yes now how do i do it oh wait resistance you know what? And I won't have any resistances here. If you're trying to get into games like Diablo or Path of Exiles, I would recommend this game more so over the others because A, well, Path of Exile is free. You can always play it and then see how you go, but it is very much so a labyrinth and there is like tips and tricks. With this one, it kind of coaxes you. It kind of like gives you what you need to know, but you don't at the same time and you kind of have free will just to figure it out. And it's not no wrong or right answer realistically, I feel in Grim Dawn. But when you play Diablo, it's very limited in the builds you can do. I don't, I don't know. I like it because okay, so this is this is big this is what it is. Why I like like say Path of Exiles and Grim Dawn more Grim Dawn more. There we go, I can actually English today. It, what it is is you know how in like Diablo, you're restricted to like have an ability and you like say your eyes can just do ice shards. You go to Path of Exiles, say you do ice shards or electric uh, abilities like lightning, but you can put different things on that change that ability and the way it operates. That's what I like because sometimes the way like the charge goes with Diablo and it just feels shit and then you could have like legendary equipment, but in like Path of Exiles, for example, you can have like a different type of like stone thingy. I can't remember the thing for the slots. I've, it's been a while since i played it but that's what i mean with this one it feels good like i'm level 40 i'm only using one ability like quite literally i just using one ability i have it in the both slots for like left and right click but i'm just using the one ability because it just fucking just works that's all i need to do i remember how i did it last time i'll have to look it up because i think i just had resistant potions and i just chugged it and then yeah i'm pretty sure that's how i did it does that make sense to be resistance potion or it might be a belt or some shit because it just chugs my health Unless I just spam the health bar stuff, all the heals. Oh, there we go, Aether Ward. That's it, because I had this out. Is that correct? Because I had this. Did we just figure it out because I had my melee weapon out? Didn't I didn't have my melee weapon out. That's why. I probably will still get damage, but it won't be as much, maybe. Yeah, it's just not as much. 
probably gonna die here. Nope, I'm good. All right, so that's what we did. It was just the weapon. I had a, the ward on it. On the weapon. That helps with it. Resistance. That's what it is. And the other thing I like is that you can mix classes, you know what I mean? So I got like demolitionist and then I can also just have like a two-handed weapon that just goes through and just annihilates everything. It's great because it feels more diverse. It feels like customization is there. It is one of those games that I thoroughly enjoy and I will be playing it to the end and then eventually buying the DLC. The DLC, it's just another thing altogether. I just wanted to buy the base game. I bought it for like 10 bucks on Steam. If you're really worried about paying full price, wait for a Steam sale because it usually goes on sale fairly regularly, I would say. And even though it has like the regular sales it still still does a lot like even 10 years later they're still doing like dlc there's meant to be another dlc that's coming out this year in 2024 so exciting times are ahead within grim dawn and it is just one of those things that i thoroughly enjoy Alrighty, let's take this fort back i guess eh? hey guys what's up then want to be some friends oh shit you're all dead my bad Take all the shit, bro. I gotta look up the rarity types because I'm pretty sure the rarity types are weird. Like, it's usually green. So, like, normal games besides some MMOs where it's like white is. You got. Goes white. White, green, blue, and then purple, and then orange and gold. Where I think these. I don't know if the rarity type is higher or if this is a common. Or if this is higher than this one, or this one is higher than this one. Because I know in Diablo, green is usually higher, like Diablo 3. I can't remember if Diablo 4 does the same thing and keeps that tradition. I can't remember. Because I haven't played it that much. I'm assuming it would. It makes sense for it too. But I don't know. Just in case, nearly died. Look at that. It's close, but AM bet here. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Just pick it all up. I don't care because I'll sell it. Dynamite. You go there. Reshuffle. So none of these helmets are going to probably be good enough. I'm going to assume. Should be safe to assume that. I'm just going to shoot just because it's easy and quicker. Even though my melee does more it's just because they just got reached just because when you see them they shooting at you instead of me running up taking a lot of hits and such is that it is that all of it i don't know i prefer i i really do like grim more so than diablo i don't know i find it more enjoyable as oddly as it sounds i find it seriously more enjoyable something about it just gets me going and makes me like like it more than Diablo. Seriously. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's just a game that just is great. But I mean, like, I haven't finished it where I finished Diablo and all that stuff and done all the end game shit. It's just this. Like, I don't know. Just Diablo seasonal stuff is not bad. I just, I don't know. I don't like the abilities. These feel big. Like, this ability here feels good. And it's like having a gun as well to shoot shit and just, I don't know. It just feels a lot better than Diablo. Diablo just feels more limited. Like, I enjoyed Path of Exiles a lot more with that learning the intricacy, intricacy the, the labyrinth of the skill tree. There we go. More so than I did with um, Diablo. Even though Diablo is a simpler form, yes. But I'm just saying in a general sense, it's just... It's not as enjoyable. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Even Diablo... I'm uh, sorry. Path of Exiles end game is... A little bit more enjoyable don't know why it just the way the game feels and operates and the customization feels good in uh what's it called again uh path of exiles i don't know i think it's just because it's the massive skill tree yeah there's metas and stuff like that which is fair enough but sometimes like I don't like to do the metas because it's like otherwise that's the only thing anyone ever uses because it's the only thing that's good to do. I hate metas. It's like this is the only gun that's really powerful for this. It's like yeah but then that's all you use and it's like I don't get to play around with all the other abilities and shit and fuck around as much. 
unless you're doing like specific things like raids or something like that that require a certain like armor set and weapons and shit i guess and it's like not too bad it's like this game like the i don't know it could be just the abilities and the play style of the game itself the way it plays could just be what i don't like particularly nothing wrong with the game it's just doesn't doesn't scratch that itch like this game is I don't know, good. Like, I haven't finished this, so I don't know what end game is like, and I don't have the DLCs yet. Because I want to finish the base game. First. Like, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to just get it anyway, but I still want to finish the base game before. Because I like to finish the game before I get the DLCs, because then I don't feel like I've wasted money if I don't play the DLCs. That's my biggest pet peeve, is like, I'll buy a game, buy the DLCs. I might finish the base game and then or might not finish the base game and then not do DLCs, you know what I mean? Uh, what's it called again? Guild Wars, right? Guild Wars, I bought all the DLC and stuff like that for that and I haven't even finished the main base game yet or playthrough, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like I've wasted time and money on shit that I haven't finished yet. Like, if I played the base game then completed it then bought it, different story. But again, if I can get them the, the actual DLC for like dirt cheap, then I'm like okay with it, you know what I mean? Like if it's like, I get all this DLC for like 10 bucks, for example. I'd be like, ah, yeah, that's not too bad. I didn't finish Starfield. I haven't finished Starfield at all yet. Like, probably three quarters of the way through the story, the main campaign. But I know the side missions are where it's at, being told. Music's a bit loud, isn't it? Well, that's cool. So that does seven. It's up to change. It does 60 less. Oh, holy shit. Oh, look at the acid damage. A hundred. like it's a boss fight. I don't know. Because I got fire resistance, probably. Just... Okay. Oh shit, what the fuck is this? There's some weird cock and any bullshit. Fuck off. He got 150 health. How much tap he does. That ball thing nearly kills you, hey, every time. Alright, we'll do the hammer for a bit. It just means we're gonna be in their face. One tap. Most of the shit's one tap anyway. I mean, the gun is probably more of a two tap than anything else. And one tap, but... Yeah, all I'm trying to do right now is, at this point in time, is just keep just going north and see how far I can get before I die. There's no likely... The likelihood is I'm... At 41, they might stay around the same level, like they might level up with me. I can't remember if you can pick, oh, this is what I can do. Like I can have them have certain areas that I need to be a high level or have it level up with you. And I think games that when you can have that choice is nice, but I like the having the choice because I like the idea of if it's like a uh, Borderlands, I feel like it pushes you into doing side quests, which is good. But if I'm trying to do the main story, that's when I want it to just level up with me and not like against, if that makes any sense. Makes it easier and more enjoyable, I think. More like a highlights moment. For these games, I feel like you do a highlights moment where you're just all shit and going through and just smacking up shit. That's what I feel like. You can't really do much else, unless you're with your mates and you talk them smack, and then it's like, yeah, you're good. But yeah, that, but my point is, is like, this game is so casual, it's good, doesn't feel like Oh, there's a battle pass, you pay the battle pass, and it's like, fuck, if I don't play it, and I don't feel like playing, I'm going to miss out. That's why I like Halos, because you can go back and complete the battle pass, which I actually do want to do is just go back through and just go through Halo and just finish the battle pass. Battle passes. You know what I mean? I don't care about doing ranked. I've done ranked, and it was, it was fun, but it's fun and fun with people. It's like a full team. It relies on it more than anything else. I think I just play it casually just to be a dickhead. 
All right, we're just going to continue going just north. You know what? I'll probably go keep going north and I'll like just kill bosses and shit. And then I'll come back and be like, do a mission. It's like, kill this person. It's like, oh, I already have. There you go. Here's their shit. I could swap the ring around like with this one. This one does bleed, uh, health and nine. Health regen per second. See, that's even better like than this. This one that makes it nice is that it's got some other stuff aspects like the ether resistance and the 4% uh, extra health, which gives me 200 HP, but 